Samamaga Ministries presents The Extraordinary Life This is Salad A people full of prayer A people intimate with the Holy Spirit A people too strong for the devil to defeat A people full of power The Extraordinary Life Thanks for joining us once again And stay blessed as you listen the violent to take it by force. Welcome to another edition of the Extraordinary Life. Praise God, viewers. You're welcome to this episode of the Extraordinary Life. We have been on faith is everything in the life of Jesus, in the creation mandate of God, faith, faith is everything. For without faith, you cannot please God. Faith is that tangible handle that you generate from the word of God. I don't want to give you theological definition of faith. I want to explain faith to you. A, a tangible handle. You see something that looks awkwardly impossible. And yet you remember the word of God say, for with God all things are possible. You lay hold on that. You stay on that scripture. You meditate that scripture and then that scripture comes alive on the inside of you. And you just find out that you are no longer the person giving up like before. You are breaking through challenges and obstacles. You generated faith by thinking through that word and forming faith out of the word of God. A lot of people have faith in the words of men than they have faith in the word of God. You have faith in artists and carpenters than you have faith in God. Now, I, let me tell you what. Now, when you move to your room, without asking any question, you sink and sit down on your sofa. It was a carpenter that did that sofa. You believe that that carpenter was genuine. You believe that it was not going to crash under you. So you sat on it. Now, if you transfer the same faith to the word of God, that whatever God says, I believe it, you are going to be great in life. Faith is everything. But how is this faith generated? I mean, Romans chapter 10, verse number 17, it says, so then, he said, this is how you're going to generate faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing Hearing what? Because what you hear is what is going to form your faith. If you are hearing politicians over and over and over and over and over, you are going to believe politicians more than you believe God. So how are you going to develop this supernatural faith that brings miracle into your life? Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. That's how faith comes. <laughs> now, you are confronted with an issue Satan is making a mockery of you. The neighbors are making mockery of you. But you have believed God. You are making something new in my life. You are creating a way in the wilderness. You are giving me life again. And you latch onto those scriptures that you have known. And you latch onto them. You worship God with those scriptures. You pray those scriptures. You speak those scriptures. That faith you are generating will magnetize a miracle. So faith is a product of knowledge. That's what I want to tell you. Faith is a product of knowledge. And knowledge is the force that ignites faith. Without knowledge, faith is barren. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, my people are stripped of their dignity and stripped of honor because they lack the relevant knowledge that God has spoken, relevant things God has spoken about their lives and about their future. Let me show you some things God said about how you must invest into knowledge because that's the raw material that develops your faith. Number one, he says, cry after knowledge. Don't joke with it. When we were ministering Port Harcourt, the families were friends to our family. She developed a liver complica complication. 
Mm -hmm. At that point, doctor say so she had tuberculosis, and then that went into something else, and then what? And they were giving her injection upon injection, antibiotics upon antibiotics, until literally her lungs failed. We were going to travel out of the country when they rushed her in. We prayed with her, but listen to my recommendation to her. I said, with the last breath you have, stay on the book of Acts. Now, we prayed with you. The prayer here is to arrest the disaster, but your faith is to perfect the miracle. Now, she sat on the book of Acts, and I said to her, you are reading 28 chapters of the book of Acts every day. I was going to be out of the country for 15 days. And I said, give your life to it. There's nothing else. Watching television is not going to help you. Stay reading 28 chapters of the book of Acts every day for 15 days. What scripture was I working on? The Bible says he sent his word and healed them. I say, if the word can gain appropriate entrance into your spirit, man, miracles come. Because the life of God is in the word of God. Now, she's been prayed for. Disaster has been arrested. But she had to perfect that miracle by her faith. So weak, couldn't stand, couldn't eat, and all of that, couldn't breathe well. And she started. It was laboring on the wall. 28 chapters of the book of Acts every day. Two weeks on, I came back. She was the first person that jumped out to welcome us. I'm healed, she said. I'm healed. I'm well. With such energy and enthusiasm. She's married today. What about four children? The devil wanted to cut her life short. And that's the ministry of the devil. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. But God says, you keep generating faith because you are only going to live in this wicked world by faith. A young man was in the university when the father who had labored and piled up some money died. His uncle confiscated the father's estate and the money. Well, this boy pulled out of the university because no one is going to sponsor him now. And the whole family began to harass the uncle. What's this? Why will you be this wicked? And he brought out six million out of the father's money. Put a curse on the boy and gave him the six million. And within six, seven months, that money was gone. This boy say she, he never knew what he did with one naira out of that money. He became a vagabond, a boy on the street, possessed with devils, carrying a curse. That was the life he was living until the grace and the love of Jesus found him. He got born again and went through a deliverance process. My God. You needed to see the deliverance session he was going through and what, what naughty devils were speaking out as they fled. But that was it. A few days later, the same uncle called him and said, please rush to the village, I'm dying. Rush to the village. He said, all over my face, balls are just busting out everywhere. Rush to the village. Oh, that was the curse placed upon this boy to become a vagabond. That curse had gone back on this man. And truly, by the third day, the uncle died. Truly, by the third day. Now, this boy encountered faith. His deliverance came, and tormentors gave way. Now, in the name of Jesus, whatever is tormenting your life and your family, whatever is put a curse upon you, right, in the name of Jesus, by the faith you are developing as you hear the word, and faith you develop by the word of God, I command every curse in your life lifted, every curse in your family lifted, every curse upon your children lifted, every curse upon your finance lifted, in the mighty name of of Jesus. They say you cannot deliver children. Listen to me. You shall have your children. 
in the name of Jesus. They say you can't amount to anything. You will come out gloriously amounting to great things. But faith must be active. And God says you cannot develop such faith except you invest into the world. Invest into knowing God and knowing the word of God. Number one, he said, cry after knowledge. So don't go to church for the ceremony of being in church. Be attentive to the word of God. And go back and do a lot of investment into the world. Know the world yourself. Buy books and study books. Buy CDs and DVDs and, and listen to the word of faith. The word of faith will make your faith grow. Now, in the book of Proverbs chapter 2, verse 3, he says, Yea, if you will cry after knowledge and you lift your voice, you lift your voice, you lift your own voice for understanding, you cry after knowledge. You run after knowledge. You sit down to know the world. And he said, if you seek knowledge as you seek silver, and you seek for her as for hidden treasures, you, you hidden treasures, that means you are studying the word and, and you, are, you are searching the word, the meaning of the word. You are putting the word in your heart. The Bible says when you do this, then you understand the fear of God. And you find knowledge of God. When you find knowledge of God, find the fear of God, you find breakthrough in life. I speak the glory of God upon you. The quest for knowledge that will generate wisdom in your life. I speak it upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Searching it for, now he said, you go search after the word of God like those prospectors who are panning for gold. He said, like an adventurer after a hidden treasure who is out on a treasure hunt, adventurer on a treasure hunt, they give themselves to it. They put them inside the bush. They sleep inside the bush. They go sometime without food in the day and in the night. Tre adventurers who are after treasure hunt. He said, hunt after the treasure of the world. Give value to the word of of God and it will create faith in you and faith will deliver miracles to you. Now number two, give everything you can give for knowledge. Proverbs 23 verse 23, he said, buy the truth and sell it not. Buy it, sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Times for, for, for weekend Bible schools, go after it. Whatever you give, to get knowledge, you are giving to get quality life. Buy the truth. Go buy quality study Bible for yourself. Go buy quality faith books. Sit down on them. A woman was in church and we kept saying, you must buy books, you must buy tapes, you must sit down, lock up yourself and turn your study around by faith. And she didn't have money to buy books. She didn't have money to buy tapes. And listen, she packed some of her clothes one day, went to the nearby market, sold them as second-hand clothes, went and bought tapes, bought CDs, bought books, locked herself up for three days, studying, listening, and making her notes. What will I do with the knowledge I'm gaining? She came out of that place after three days. She fasted the word. She gave time to study the word. She sought she saw the word as seeking after gold and silver. And after three days, she came out, began to implement the things she was writing when she was waiting on the Lord on the word. Now, by the time the first year was over, she was already an employer of labor. She had nine staff. Today, she's a big CEO. She began her journey by crying after knowledge, seeking after it. Give everything. Say, buy the truth. Do not sell it. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Now buy it. Don't, don't, don't let money, quest for money, take you out of God's presence. Don't, don't. There's a time for the world. Give it quality time. Give it all it takes. There's a time to now go with that wisdom you have received after pursuit of your own things. And, and, and. Now, number three, he said, you must give all it takes to acquire this knowledge of faith. You must give it all it takes. People travel with money to go and sit under some so-called gurus in wherever to be fed with junks. Why would you not give it all it takes to be fed by the word of faith? You won't be deceived by any man. Now he says, besides this, 2 Peter 1.5, besides this, 
giving all diligence. Don't waste a minute. Giving all diligence. Add to your faith virtue. Add character to your faith. Add integrity to your faith. Add something to your faith. You can't, those who are truly of faith are not reckless. If you see somebody around you say he has faith, he has faith and is being reckless. That's not faith. That's not authentic faith. That is fake faith. People who are truly of faith, the faith of God, are not liars. They are honest. They are people of integrity, people of character. And so when you see people running around these days and, and, and defrauding people, that's not faith. He said, you, but you've got to be diligent. Give it all it takes to add Add to your faith, virtue, character, and add to character, knowledge. 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 But it takes, he say, so don't lose a minute in building what you've been given. Add something. Add. Complement your basic faith with good character. And complement our spiritual understanding. You must give it all it takes. Once you are born again, you already have some basic faith. But you must, you keep growing that faith as you keep adding knowledge. And that's what delivers miracle to your hand. That's what God is saying to you. Happy is a man, Proverbs 13, 3 verse 13. Look at the effect. Look at the blessings that come, the guarantee that you have when you go after knowledge. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. Wisdom is a product of knowledge. Wisdom is applying knowledge knowledge discreetly. Wisdom is using knowledge well. Wisdom is application of knowledge. So basically you must have knowledge to walk in wisdom. He said, happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. So if you give diligence to go after spiritual understanding, give diligence to add knowledge to your character and basic faith, now you are blessed. He said, you are blessed when you meet lady wisdom. Wisdom. You are blessed when you make Make friends with insight. Knowledge is insight. Understanding is insight. When you start getting insight into the word of God, the Bible says automatically it brings, every day is bringing the blessing of God your way. And I speak the blessing of God to overrun your family. I speak the blessing of God to overrun your life. I speak the blessing of God to overrun your career in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now Ecclesiastes 12, 13, he said, this is the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandment. For this is the whole duty of man. How will you keep a commandment you do not know? How will you keep what you do not know? So you go after knowledge. Praise God. And as you go after knowledge, the fear of God will walk with you. The fear of God was what took Joseph from the prison to the palace. He refused to sin because he feared God. Fear here is not fear of torment or terror. It's reverential fear. When you approach the word of God with reference and you approach God with reference, the fear of God, it will promote you. Praise the Lord. His mercy will flow towards you as waves of the sea. From today, God is going to deliver you from every disaster the enemy is planted around you. By reason of the fear of God and the knowledge that you load in your heart, faith will deliver your miracle into your hand. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to you. You are tired of looking for jobs. You've gone round office to office. Your shoes are wearing off. You are getting, you are fainting. But in the name of Jesus, as you hear this, as you begin to act on this, in the name of Jesus, I speak the favor of God to follow you from this week and within the next seven days, God is going to give you a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. As you intelligently pursue after this and you do not give up, God is taking you to the top. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you serve the Lord and you love the Lord as priority, God is going to shower down his love upon you. Miracles shall follow you. Miracles of health, miracles of breakthrough, miracles of insight, miracles of joy and love in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, great understanding among your children, relationship in the family that surpasses everything from this day, joy shall be your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Sure.
Father. Can you pray this prayer with me? Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Save me now. Give me a fresh life. Make me your own child. From today, I speak against the powers of the enemy in my body. I crush the works of the enemy. Any contract with evil, I destroy. I receive power to love you, to serve you, to win over the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You have just been watching the Extraordinary Life Broadcast. 